we are going to be analyzing the summing amplifier. The function of this circuit is pretty self-explanatory, and basically what it does is it takes two or more voltages. You can continuously add more of these upwards and still going to do the same thing, and it adds them together. But more than just adding the voltages, it also has the ability to scale the voltages. So now what I'm going to do is analyze this circuit, so that way I can show you mathematically exactly what this does. So to begin analyzing this circuit, I'm going to begin with labeling my component currents. So we're going to have a current through this component. Let's call this I1. We're going to have a current here. Let's call this I2. And we'll have a current here. Let's call this I3. For these three currents, the direction that you choose is arbitrary. What's important is that you properly relate them through a KCL. So let's also define a current over here. Let's call this I4. And now every component has a current. The next thing I need to do is label my node voltages. We have four nodes labeled already between V1, V2, V3, and VO. And for an ideal op amp, the negative input is going to have the same potential as my positive input. So this is going to be zero volts as well. So now that we labeled our circuit, the next step is to write KCL. So now for our KCL, we have I1, I2, and I3 going into the node, and I4 leaving the node. And we don't have any current going into our op amp because we're treating this as an ideal op amp. So we have I1 plus I2 plus I3 currents entering is equal to I4 currents leaving. Now we can move on to the equations for our components. And we can start with R1. We'll have I1 is equal to V1 minus 0 divided by R1. For R2, we have I2 is equal to V2 minus 0 divided by R2. And for R3, we have I3 is equal to V3 minus zero divided by R3. And lastly, we have RF, and that's going to be I4 is equal to zero minus V out divided by RF. At this point, we now have all the equations we need. So what I'm going to do is solve for VO in terms of the resistances and input voltages that we have. So I'm going to start with substituting my Ohm's law equations into my KCL, and that's going to look like V1 divided by R1 plus V2 divided by R2 plus V3 divided by R3 is equal to negative VO divided by RF. So now what I can do is I can multiply the RF and the negative sign over, and I'm left with VO is equal to negative RF multiplied by V1 divided by R1 plus V2 divided by R2 plus V3 divided by R3. And this is the definition of V out in terms of our input voltages and resistances. So by choosing the values that we have for RF, R1, R2, and R3, we can scale the voltages and add them up together at the same time. One thing that's commonly done with this circuit is we'll say, R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R3 and is equal to RF. And once we equate all these resistances together, we're left that VO is equal to negative V1 minus V2 minus V3. And in this way, we can add up our voltages. The output is inverted. So if you wanted to make it positive, you could pass it through another inverting amplifier to flip the sign. So if you look at this equation right here, really what you see is that this is the gain equation for the inverting amplifier. And by adding more input resistances to your circuit, you're able to add the inputs for multiple inverting amplifiers together. And that's what the summing amplifier does.